So now I assume you've copied your file either from a Windows machine or from a Mac or from a Linux machine on, onto Cirrus and here I am logged into Cirrus. So no matter whether you're logging in uh, from, from uh, Linux uh, or Windows or a Mac, you'll have a terminal like this. So I, I assume I've copied MPP templates across. I need to unpack it and the way to that is a tar, it actually stands for tape archive, it's a very old minus XVF which unpacks it MPP templates dot tar. I now go into there, cd mpp templates, templates, and those are the files. So the files there are um, a little script file for submitting jobs onto Arch. I'm not bothered about that now. A template script file for submitting jobs onto Cirrus, which we'll use, and three hello routines, hello dot hello uh, programs, hello dot c, hello dot cc for c plus plus, and hello dot f90, and some make files for uh, compiling them, which I'll come back to. But the main thing we need to do before we can do anything on Cirrus is to load the correct modules. And the ones I'd expect to use as default, the ones I kind of assume in the in the um, uh, in the uh, the instructions are first of all you need to module load MPT, which is the message passing toolkit. But also I'd like you to use the Intel compilers. By default you can use other ones, but you do module load Intel compilers 17. And then, having done that, we can compile these programs. Now, these are actually still serial programs, but I'm going to compile them um, using um, the MPI wrappers to the compilers just to show you what you would do with a real program. So I'll clear the screen here. So let's look at the C one, hello.c. There's nothing but print hello world. To compile that, I do MPI CC. I have to say to use the Intel compiler minus CC equals ICC. And I want to create an, an object file called hello then hello.c and I can run that dot slash hello I get hello world ah well actually I can't run it because what it's saying is this you, you've compiled this as a parallel program you need to run it as a parallel program so I would actually do it on the front end it's MPI run minus n3 for example dot slash hello and that will run that three times so um, I've compiled this little C program, I've run it using MPI run and it works. Uh, I'll show you how to compile the C++ and Fortran ones as well. So to compile the C++ one you do MPI CC minus CC equals ICPC which is Intel C++ compiler minus oh hello hello dot CC and then I can do MPI run minus N let's do 5 the hello program and it works and I'll just do the same for the Fortran one. Fortran for some reason picks up the Intel compilers by default so it's actually a bit more simple. MPIF90 minus oh hello hello MPI run minus n4 dot slash hello and that runs it. So um, you might be thinking that's a bit strange he's using these supposedly special um, MPI compilers. I thought David uh, made a big point in the lectures there is no such thing as an MPI compiler. Well actually these aren't really MPI compilers, they're wrappers. All they do is they call, in this case the, the Intel compilers, they actually use the Intel C, C++ or Fortran compiler, but there's a wrapper which makes sure that all the paths and the libraries and the include files are all set up correctly, but fundamentally it's just setting up a bit of, of, of bookkeeping where the libraries are, where all the include files are for Fortran, where the modules are, but it's just really calling the Intel compiler at the end of the day. So the other thing you might want to do is to run on the back end using QSub. We're going to need to do that for any, any big runs. And that's really quite simple. All I have to do, I'll just stick with the Fortran version here, but it, it doesn't matter which one you do. I've given you uh, a file here called CirrusMPI.PBS. Now, you can look up the manual, work out how PBS works, and um, and and um, uh, and work out how to create your own PBS files. But I've tried to give you one here which just works out the box. So all you need to do is, if I want to run a program called Hello, I just copy Cirrus MPI.PBS, which is the template, and I call it Hello.PBS. That means it is going to run a program called Hello. And then submit that to, to Cirrus. I do just QSub Hello.PBS. That submitted the job and you'll see it says back your job is job 352584 and now I can track that with qstat minus u dollar user which is my username oh well it's run okay let's have a look that's very nice if I do an ls you'll see that there is an output file hello.pbs.032 
3, 5, if I edit that using Emacs for example, you'll see that it said I'm running hello on four processes over one node, I'll come back to that, it tells you what command it's issuing and it runs it and you get four hello worlds out there. Um, you might want to run bigger simulations, you might run, want to run on more nodes and that's so what you'd have to do is you have to edit the file then so we, if you look at hello.pbs now there's a lot of stuff in this file but the important point is you, there's a lot of comments here but all you need to do is to edit a couple of lines so to change the number of processes you just need to edit this line entrock equals 4 and if you're running on, on f um, 36 or fewer processes that will fit on a single Cirrus node you can just let's just try 19 so I don't need to recompile the program because remember MPI programs typically should be written to be able to run on any number of processes. Right, if I just q sub this, q sub hello.pbs, and they seem to be running quite fast at the moment. This may not happen when you do it yourself, but remember for the actual lab sessions we will have a reservation. So you won't do q sub hello.pbs, you'll do q sub minus r, some magic number, one, two, three, four, five, six. But let's just q stat minus u dollar user. It's run, and it was the output file was hello.pbs with a bigger number here and you'll see I get 19 hello worlds. The final thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted to run uh, more than 36 processes that needs more than one uh, Cirrus node so we need to edit the script here um, not that one sorry we need to edit the one we've copied which is uh, arch um, hello.pbs you'll see that there's a comment here that this select here tells you how many nodes you want. So if I want to run, say for example, across two nodes, I'm going to have to select equals two. And let's say I want to run on, uh, let's say, 40 processes. Now that's too many for one node, one node only has 36. The way the script is written, and there's a lot of stuff down there which you can kind of ignore, but it tries to split things up equally. So if here I'm saying I want to run on two Cirrus nodes, this NCPU equals 72 is that you could ignore that. You always have to say that. You can just, it, it's to do with hyperthreading, but you never change that. The important number of this select equals to, I want to run on two Cirrus nodes, and I want to run 40 processes, and what it will do is it will try and run 20 on each node. So if I do the Q sub again, hello.pbs, and again, this will be running really quickly. It's not even in the queue, it's finished. And I look at the output file, which will be the biggest numbered one, which is here. You'll see that the script says what it's doing. It says running hello on four processes over two nodes, 40 processes over two nodes. That's what we wanted. But it says issuing command MPI exec MPT. That's the launcher. The launcher for the for the command the back end nodes, the compute nodes is called MPI exec MPT, whereas on the login node it's MPI run. It says I want to run 40 processes, but PPN 20 says I want to run 20 per node. 20 processes per node, because I've asked for 40 processes over two nodes, so the natural thing is to split it 20 per node, and that's what it does. The script does a bit of checking. If you don't have enough nodes, it will complain. If you try to run 41 processes on two nodes, it says I can't do it, because it assumes that it splits up equally. So there's a few restrictions, but to first approximation, this, this um, batch script, CirrusMPI.PBS, should be a good template to recap, all you do to run any program, if your program is called hello, you call it hello.pbs. If a program is called goodbye, you'd copy it to be called goodbye.pbs. You should only ever have to change two numbers in that script. One is nproc, which is the number of processes, and if that is bigger than 36, you'll need to change the select argument to be the number of nodes. So you'll need, if you're running on, say, 72 processes, you might need two nodes. That would be 36 on each. Uh, or you could, you could run 72 processes on four nodes, but it would put 18 on each of the four nodes. So anyway, I hope that was a, just a simple video. I wasn't able to go over that in the lecture today, just to give you some instructions on how to run jobs once you've copied the template file onto Cirrus. And the real exercise now is not just to run Hello World, but to put ex um, um, to initialize MPI for each process to say what its rank and size is, to say not Hello World, but Hello World from rank 27 out of 40. So you can see who's printing and also how many processes you run on. So again, I hope that was that was useful for you.